The Insights of the Wise Woman Here is some of the insights of the wise woman, a special request from Christopher Buckley and others. Upon contemplation of the goddess, the great womb of creation. Life is not about gaining anything in the world or even losing anything in the world. In fact, it's not about man-made worldly things or cares at all. It is about being who you are and doing what you are and being the best of who you are. The being person you are created to be and whatever form it takes in this world. It's about self-discovering. Discovering your innate and physical capacities and potentials and putting them to work, making use of them. In doing so, you become your best self. And in doing so, not only do you serve yourself, but you serve others and the whole of creation. There are no spare parts in the greater scheme of things, and everything is of value in the greater scheme of things. Just be yourself and do your part. That is all required of you. If you will just do that, it will be of great service. Accept who you are, embrace it, love it, value it, and put all of it to use. Develop your potentials, strengthen your gifts and talents, take care of your vehicle, your body. It is your instrument of expression, the innate spiritual and physical part of you and your abilities. What good is it for an innate master carpenter if he can't climb a ladder? What good is it for an innate magnificent dancer if she runs out of breath when climbing a flight of stairs? What good is it for an innate sportsman who spends all day playing video games? And what good is it for a great poet or storyteller who spend their time reading somebody else's books? The answer is not much good. Such persons will effectively become like barren trees. They manage to live a life but yield no good fruit. Which means not only do they not serve themselves, but they serve no one else either. To make good use of all that you are and to cater to all that you have by your birthright is effectively to nurture your own divine spirit and soul. If one doesn't, like the barren tree, you become not fit for purpose and no one desires to feel unfit for purpose. All abilities have purpose and serves. There are no accidents in creation, nor spare parts. And the Divine Mother's eyes, the great womb in which we all come from, and abide. No being or ability is greater or more important than any other. She dispersed her loving, blessed life, nurturing potentials amongst us all. No one has all her infinite DNA gifts, but we all have some 
and the wisdom of this is to ensure the oneness of all things. We are in this together, and we require each other for life and creation to continue. She loves us all, and we all are her children. So don't look around and say, who can I become? Instead, look at yourself and say, in what ways can I put to use what I know I have in abilities? And how can I make good use of it that it will serve well? Such thinking automatically activates the universal law of use, which is intimately connected to all other universal laws in creation. The more you use your abilities and whatever you have or been born with, like your sports, your spirit, your mind, your body, your capacity to love, the more it strengthens in vitality. If you don't use it and do not value to use it properly, it weakens in vitality. If you don't use it, you lose it. So use it for your own sake and for the sake of creation. You have purpose. And remember, much is given, much is required. We were all born and created with abilities and all that we need to be the best of who we are and what we are in divine mind. If there are other things that you may require in supplies, like a guitar if you are a musician, or knowledge if you are an herbalist, it will come to you and it will come magically because the divine creator and the whole of creation utterly supports us in being who we truly are and to becoming our higher self. Putting the law of use absolutely includes our capacity to love, to be kind, to be happy, to be helpful and supportive, excited, optimistic, trustworthy, peaceful, our ability to have faith, to be creative and of good nature. In fact, doing these things strengthen our spirit, which is the essential, eternal and most important aspect of ourselves. We are spiritual beings first and foremost. To neglect this essential aspect of ourselves would to be a grave misdeed. It is our essential self in which all else is expressed from. So do not neglect to nurture your spirit and put it to good use. A barren tree is a sad thing to gaze upon. But a barren spirit is a horrible, devastating thing to witness, let alone one to endure. So one should, if one was wise, to always nurture one's spirit. It is so vitally important to nurture oneself on feel-good things and to do it as a rule of life because in reality of the greater scheme of things it is the rule of life. A loving happy being produces much good fruit 
that nurtures well-being and vitality. Do this in your mind, in feelings and deeds, and you will become the best of who you are. And we all will rejoice. So life is about the wonderful adventure of self-discovery. Finding out all the magnificent things that you can do and do them. Take a good look at yourself. Take stock. Take inventory of all you can do. Maybe you can cook, build something, make something, fix something. Maybe you are great at arts, gardening, listening to others, organizing, networking. Perhaps you have a brilliant smile, a loving hug, ability to heal and soothe others. Maybe you are great at sports, a whiz at business, a wonderful lover, a caring parent. Or maybe you have the ability to do those all. The key to nurturing fulfillment is not to choose one of your innate abilities and put focus upon it, but to utilize all your abilities in some way and some capacity one way or the other. To neglect the front left tire on a car and allow it to go flat while you pump up the others will not get you far. The thing to remember is all that you have is required in order for you to achieve the greater you. So get to work and discover the wonderful abilities that you have and all the ways in which you can use it. And I can assure you, if you do this, not only will you be fulfilled, but you will bear much good fruit and be a very happy and healthy divine being.